Hey, Oz, is the voice working now for you? It is. Welcome back. I missed you. I don't want your voice. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just, I just wasn't saying anything. Yeah, yeah so I hear you now. Well, that's good. I, I, I was, I was, uh, was able to speak before, but for some reason the output was messed up. Um, okay. So, uh, let's see. I guess we can get started. Um, Running down our usual list, and which in fact hasn't changed a lot lately. Uh, where did my page, my wiki page go? There it is. Um, so we've got the asset HTTP viewer. I actually expect that that will get promoted any minute now, um, possibly uh, tonight, possibly at the end of next at the beginning of next week we've had a little bit of a hold up in QA that's um, every nth viewer and I'm not sure what the value of n is right at the moment we do like a complete regression test of the viewer before we release it and this one got that turn um, but uh, it's it's doing fine and we will we'll be out um, we'll be out soon uh, Project Alex Ivy, we are in the throes of testing the last, what we hope are the last few changes for the new updater service, and when we've got that done, then we will be able to release, release Alex Ivy. Uh, we have a new build of it, it seems good, um, so coming real soon. Uh, and I have begun, we have begun, I should say, updating the instructions on how to build the viewer on the wiki to match Alex Ivy instead of viewer release. Um, so uh, that's, well, I mean, you can, you can get those now. Um, and yes, there is a, there is a 64-bit havoc that goes with that. Uh, so, uh, so coming soon to a to a network folder near you somewhere. Um, uh, that has our new updater wrapper code in it, and that's somewhat different. Um, introduces some new requirements in the development environment. Uh, we'll be glad to help walk you through those. Uh, basically, what happens is that there's a little a little program that's written in Python um, that uh, is compiled down to a 32-bit executable on on Windows called SL Launcher. That launches first. It's the thing that handles the updating. Uh, so the UI for that has changed a little bit and then it uh, launches the viewer itself. So you'll see an extra process running because the launcher sits around waiting for the viewer to exit um, when it's done, but it's not, not doing anything. So, um, and what that is going to attempt to do is to figure out which of the builds is better for you on the platform you're on. They're only, the only difference is on Windows. Um, on Mac, everything is built for 64-bit and it always works, so we just do that. Um, so that's all coming along, uh, and hopefully we will have that out real soon now. 
Uh, the voice viewer um, has gotten uh, a, a version update, but it's uh, for reasons we haven't been able to figure out, it has an unusually high crash rate. Um, so it is probably not a candidate to be released anytime soon until we figure that out. Uh, the maintenance viewer uh, has an update, and I think there's another one in the pipeline. Um, there's a crash. That one fixes that you really should pick up at some point, but it will probably have a relatively quick trip through the release candidate process. Um, the crash is actually that if the simulator sends a UDP message with a type that the viewer doesn't doesn't recognize, then the viewer crashes. Um, obviously, the fix is just to ignore messages you don't recognize. Uh, but that's uh, that's a fix you'll want to make sure that you pick up. Um, so we'll try to get that into viewer release as quickly as we can. Um, and then there's Project 360 Snapshot, uh, which there is a new build of that's all up to date. And as soon as it gets a chance to be tested by QA, it will be out. Um, this version uh, changes the format of the 360 Snapshot. Instead of saving a zip file with six images that have to be stitched together by something else, the viewer does all the stitching and saves a single uh, JPEG in equirectangular format with all the right metadata. So if you post it to Facebook or something, uh, or one of the sites that accepts these things, um, it does the right thing. Um, we have not yet updated place pages to match that change. So, uh, but that will be coming soon to place pages as well. So. Um, hopefully, we'll get that project viewer update out next week. It's just behind other things in QA. So, uh, coming soon to a, to a viewer pipeline near you. There's still a fair amount of work to be done on that viewer to, uh, we've got some UI work on the, on the snapshot floater to do, and we've got, uh, we want to, we're going to, Try to, we're going to at least do an integrated way of uploading your 360 snapshot to your place pages uh, as a regular thing before we before we release it. We may or may not um, put in integrated support for uploading to Facebook and the other sites that we already have things for. Depending if it if it works quickly and easily, we'll we'll include that in the first release. If not, that'll we may release without that feature. So that's the viewer pipeline plan uh, as of today. And that's all the news I've got, I think. So the floor is open for whatever discussion needs to happen. Somebody say something so I can tell whether or not I'm hearing. I think everybody's gone quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I'm I'm hearing the nothing as well as everybody else is. I just can't think of anything at the moment, Oz. But, but what year was it that you were saying was fixing to come out or be going to release at any moment? Probably the asset HTTP viewer. So that that switches to loading uh, gestures, sounds, shapes, and some other stuff over HTTP, so that you get the benefit of the CDN. Uh, refetch as well, I think. Ed, Is that correct? Inventory has all has been HTTP for a long time. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was just gonna, is that going to help? Things like um, 
the cables that has the, the um, recorder on it, because certain things are still invisible to me, like the tables that... Oh, that, that, that table object is just missing. Um, that's, it, it's not that you can't see it, it's that it's not there. Um, I, I, I accidentally deleted it a while back, and I haven't fixed it. <laughs> So sorry, that's I realize that's that's a disconcerting thing to have done. Um, yeah. Oh well, yeah. I've been trying to figure out if the um. Oh. Uh, yeah. That, that list was, was broken yeah. again because that, that table was... hasn't been rendering for me for a while. No, no. No, that that's not a, an interest list problem. I, um, Worley's right. I I got annoyed at the fact that the the media boards were regularly getting hacked up, and so I just deleted them. And it turns out that they were linked to the table. Uh, so I should I should probably put the table back, but uh, or or a new one. But uh, I haven't gotten around to it. So, um, but yeah, the, so the asset HTTP viewer, what it will help, I think, is that um, is things like getting animations and sounds more quickly the first time you encounter them, uh, because the CDN loads a great deal faster than our um, the 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 protocol that was previously being used for those things was. Um, over UDP and was unbelievably slow. Um, I mean, it was it was slower than it had ever had any reason to be. Um, so we're not only uh, going to be loading from a faster source uh, using a faster protocol, but we'll also not be putting load on the simulator to do so, which is good because getting load off the simulators is always a good thing. So that they can spend their time doing simulation, and uh, and at some point, probably several months out, um, we will remove the support from the simulator for those old UDP protocols and viewers that have not picked up the asset HTTP changes won't be able to get those assets anymore. It should improve reliability if you're in a very busy region too, because sometimes the simulator just gets backed up and can't give you the assets you request and starts dropping stuff on the floor. And so if you're bypassing the simulator, then uh, you don't have that failure mode anymore. Right. Right. So uh, the TP throttle changes. Yeah, we're still in the process of we're still studying the TP throttle changes and related teleport changes to try to take load off of busy regions. Um, and uh, there may be more changes coming on those. It should be transparent to you. That is, you shouldn't be able to tell other than the fact that regions perform better. Um, and the TP hammers won't work as well. Um, yeah, could well that's uh, the the. Uh, but we we have been since we sort of got clued into that, we've been taking measurements of just how much load having lots of people attempting to teleport in is is inflicting on the destination region it's it's quite considerable so we're we're t we're tweaking those um, right well you know um it's a it's a regular thing that we 
that we discover some aspect of how Second Life works that we weren't previously clued into. Um, yeah. Uh, so um, this week's Magnum Channel role had to go back um, because it turned out that it was a little more incompatible with old scripts than we really meant for it to be, and we're we're going to take another stab at that next week. We got a new build, and that's working its way through QA, and we'll we'll get back into the RC next week. And hopefully, the week after, it will be promoted to the main channel. We have not done anything new on group notices in a while. No. Um, time limiting avatar script on their person to lag out sims. Um, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't really have anything to add on that right now. Um, we did have a situation, and I, I believe it's fixed now, Veer, is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, where some of our upload validation was not working correctly, and we've, we've fixed that? Uh, yeah, that should be behaving itself now, but uh, we... Actually, I'm not sure about the um, deploy schedule for that, since that's a that's a simulator change. Um, not sure where okay. that has or hasn't gone out yet, but uh, anyway, we're in the process of, of getting that sorted. Okay. Uh, to the question about whether you can rig two attachment points, uh, I'm not positive where the final uh, call was made on that. Um, Orly, if you have a, a test file that you could send me, I'll uh, I'll double check on that and see what it looks like we're doing there. I think our, I, my recollection is that we said we would we would leave it that way for existing objects, but that we would not allow new objects to be uploaded that it rigged to attachment that, points. That may be. We had a whole bunch of discussions about uh, you know policy for for various types of um, you know various joints. So you know, can you animate right. them? Can you rig to them? And I I really don't remember where it all shook out. We we added a lot of new bonds so that you didn't yeah, have to I'll do that anymore. Look at that uh, uh, fire twenty one thousand. Uh, the official viewer got a way to mute text, voice, sound individually, but it's still not being those blocks that work. It's one. Um, by all means, make a Jira for that, Kitty. Thank you.
Yeah, that's the one, Willie. Main 7482. Obviously, we will do our best not to send unrecognized messages, but uh, some of the new projects may generate them, and we would hate to crash large numbers of viewers. It's just an obvious robustness fix. Yeah, we will. We will fix the simulator so that you you don't get those. So the, so the simulator won't send them to you unless you understand them for that particular case. But it's just one of those robustness fixes that we ought to have had all along. I, I don't think there's a need to delay your release. Just do it and then make sure that gets into the next one. We're going to have lots of new stuff that you'll want to get into your releases anyway. Give you lots of reasons to do new releases. I, I do have some idea how you how hard you have to work when a release gets out. I I appreciate it. Is there a historic reason why we can't alter the priority of an animation post upload? I assume that it's just because it's part of the asset and you can't modify assets, but I don't, I have no idea actually. Yeah, I think basically we just never added any feature for editing animations. Um, you know, if, if we had, then you would be able to change that sort of field for things that uh, you know you had had modify privs for. You know, since it's an inventory item, so I mean, you would have to create a new asset, but it would just update the item. You know, it's a, it's a perfectly valid hypothetical feature that we just never implemented. Right. Well, hopefully some of those animation conflicts will get easier with our, once we've made our changes to, to enhance how animations work, so that if you have animations that are animating disjoint sets of bones, they, they just don't conflict and you can have them all going at once.
Uh, sorry, which viewer is what in? Oh, uh, it's not in any viewer yet. We're still working on it. That will show up in one of the project viewers out of out of uh, Fear's animation project. Mm, I'm not sure which feature we're talking about. Is this the uh, kind of uh, augmented anim animations yeah. that are supplemental right. animations? Yeah. yeah. Right. The supplemental animations. It's kind of overlaps with Animesh, but it's not really the same thing. Yeah, it's um, it's it's actually a, a server side only change to add a couple of new LSL commands, um, but uh, it isn't implemented anywhere yet. It's on the roadmap. Uh, I have a I have a uh, policy that I prefer to let the responsible developer choose the project name. So that's uh, uh, just not my call. I like Matt's names for things. Ask away, Olivia.
I, I don't want to get into it deeply here. There is actually a reason why we did it the way we did the, the experiences, the way we did them. We understand some of the use cases that that makes difficult. And at some point, we may try to address them. But uh, it's not on the short-term roadmap. So um, that's, that's just the way it is for a while. Yeah, the the right. I, I understand some of the inconveniences of, of this, and at some point we may be able to address them. But I suspect that uh, that's the sort of change that we could not do, Anastasia, because it's it would it would it would violate the expectations of the script authors that created the stuff in the first place. Yeah, we're we're getting pretty far away from viewer technology here. And that's Oh, by the way, uh I think I <laughs> yeah, sorry, my dogs are exercised about something downstairs. Sorry if that's coming through. The um Uh, I have started updating, just to let you know, I have started updating the wiki documentation on how to build the viewer so that it matches how to build Alex Ivy. Uh, it's, I suppose that's possible. Um, uh, that is that it, so that it, it has the tools that we're, we're using for the 64-bit viewers. What that means is that it won't work for any of the other branches right now. So um, I put tried to remember to put warnings on the top of all the pages where I've changed the instructions. But if you want to start being able to build the 64-bit stuff the way we do, those instructions are in the process of being updated and should be, by sometime next week, they should all be correct.
Okay, well, if there are no other new topics, 